this is expressive. What are Thursday synonymous for? Food on expressive. Today, let's talk about this. Mushrooms, really interesting food, mushrooms over here. Michael Boating is a farmer of mushrooms and does a very wonderful, wonderful job at preserving and making it into different things as well. Let's talk to him right now. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, sir. How are you today? Fine, thank These you, are sir. fresh mushrooms, I believe. That's right. Uh, how long would this last? Okay, probably in the fridge, two weeks. Okay. But inside the fridge, as long as three months, you can still have it fresh. In the fridge, two weeks? Yes. In the and freezer? Also, right? Yeah, in the freezer, three, three, three months. Three months. Yeah. In the, just outside, fresh? Fresh, 48 hours. 48 yeah. hours. That's, oh, right. that's interesting. You can also dry them. So it's very perishable. Yeah. yeah, it it's is. It's perishable after yeah. 48 hours. Yeah. You're a mushroom farmer. Yeah. I'm when did you begin? Okay, 2014. Yeah, I oh, started okay. doing mushrooms in the You're a full-time mushroom farmer? Full-time mushroom farmer. Okay, now. how's that going so far? Ah, it's going good. Yeah, so far as um, business is concerned, yeah, because now everybody wants to eat well because of the kind of situation we find ourselves, mm. COVID-19 and all that. Mm. Yeah, so people find this delicacy as the best way to go mm. in terms of health. So you're one of the people who... Is benefiting from COVID-19. Yes, yes, yes. Good, <laughs> good, good for you. How big is your farm? Okay, uh, it can take uh, a almost everybody who needs mushroom can get it. So that's how big it oh, okay. is. Yeah, at then, any given time. So you, so you produce mushrooms all year. I round. believe all year round yeah, all and year every round. day as well. Every day because you you have to sell fresh. That's right. That's that's, that's interesting. Right. Yeah. We have also developed you know products from these mushrooms. Yes, yes. Can you tell me for a fact that this drink is made from mushroom? Yes, it is. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Tries ginger. Yeah. It has mushrooms in it. Yeah, mushrooms. Let's begin with the foods now and see okay. the the varieties of food you've you've made with uh, the mushrooms. Okay. What's the first one we see there? So this is linguine. What's, what's mushrooms linguine. Linguine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mushrooms linguine. Correct. It looks like pasta. Is that pasta? Y yeah, sort of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you just what, you just put the mushrooms on a pasta. Okay. That's it. What we is do that, is that you is, fry the mushrooms. Okay. Yeah, you fry the mushrooms in oil, okay. and then afterwards you pour cooking cream. Okay. Yeah, into your saucepan or frying pan. Okay. Then you kind of boil this. We, we call this particular pasta lenguen. Lenguen. Yeah, we have one for... <laughs> By the way, you cook yourself, right? <laughs> yes. So that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so in this case, if you want to make it a very delicious delicacy, okay. you add uh, black pepper okay. and all that, then you sort of stir fry it. Sprinkle like, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So this is mushroom lenguen. Yeah. Okay, today, right. today I'm, I'm more going to be, you know, um, just smelling the good food instead of really eating it so okay let's go to the next one okay and this one is mushrooms with indomie oh this is indomie yeah indomie so this can be served at a roadside just by the yes, indomie yes. joints just like this that's right that's right uh, so as you can see now you can add it to any dish at all mm. yeah Okay, now. Yes, yes. So this first mushroom linguine. Yes. Now mushroom, mushroom indomie. indomie, and the third one. And let's the third one is the, the mushroom one. stir fry. Oh, that's yeah. Just... Mushroom stir fry. Maybe oh, it looks nice. Other salads and. I see the mushrooms in there too. Yeah, green pea. Lovely. <laughs> Smells great. Okay. Thank you. So these are just the different varieties with which you 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 use your. Your, your mushrooms from yes, the farm. Yes. Apart from selling them fresh, you also make food yes. from them. And yes, yes, then, yes, yes. Uh, you also make some drinks here. Yeah, Let's begin with this one. Okay. Uh, Trice Energy Fruity. Yeah. Uh, where can I see that? How, how do you put mushrooms into this? Okay, well, we have <laughs> another type of mushrooms called kombucha. Okay. And what we do is that after brewing it as in fermenting a green tea, mm -hmm. uh, we put this particular kombucha on the tea. Mm -hmm. So what it does is that it only releases probiotics and antioxidants into the tea mm -hmm. by virtue of when it's expanding or growing. Okay. Yes. And then we add other local spices. Okay. But with this energy fruity mm -hmm. is for those who like fruit stuff. So we add okay. grapes, apple and tangerine. Okay. Just to make it a bit nicer. And then honey. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's, 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 that's incredible. Thank and you. then uh, let's talk about this, the, the, the Trice Ginger. By the way, the Trice is the brand that... Yeah, Trice. 
Tris. Yeah, okay. Tris. The Tris brand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see the kombucha juice. You just mm -hmm. mentioned the kombucha. Yes. So yes. it's the same process for both of them. Yes. Just that this is more like medicinal or health for health purposes. Sorry, Although ginger. it tastes like mm -hmm. any ordinary ginger, mm -hmm. yet the benefits are just enormous and and mind blowing. Okay. Yeah. The last one here. The Trace energy fruity. Yeah, is this, this one the is same. For, yeah, but this one is for kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> just, I, I see there. I see some kids jumping on the label there. That's right. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 very interesting stuff. Thank you. So you have a lot of use for your mushrooms then. Yes. When, when they when they when they when they get back from the farm. That's right. Tell, I'm interested in your tip. Tell me about your typical day. You go, you supervise the farm, mm -hmm. and then you come back to make juices and food. Is that what you do? Yes. Every day. Every day we have to get mushrooms on on, on the go. Okay. Always fresh. Okay. Yeah. So I've had one or two people helping me to sort these things out. Okay. And we are looking at promoting mushrooms and farming as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I have other farmers like um Madam Judith at Aman here and mm -hmm. then uh, Reverend Agbisi, who are also supporting in this mushroom promotion. Oh, okay. Yes, this is just to make anybody watching know that it's mushrooms time can to, yeah. really be used for anything, and they are very, very healthy. Very for healthy. For the people who are still doubting how healthy <laughs> mushrooms are, how healthy are they? Okay, uh, by eating mushrooms, mm -hmm. it gives you longevity. So if you are supposed to maybe perhaps. That 80 you should go 120 because <laughs> really? of eating mushrooms. Yes. <laughs> is that proven? <laughs> yeah, proven. My grandmother is still alive because of how old is she? She is 100 and over. Your grandmother My is grandmother. over 100 yeah. years old. And so I know what I'm talking about in terms of longevity because mm. it has these vitamins and the nu nutrients that helps the system to keep going. And in this our world of everything chemicalized, this is the way to go. Did your grandmother introduce you to mushrooms? Well, in a village, back in the village, yes. Oh, but okay. when I came, uh, I came to Accra, I didn't know we can even grow mushrooms until a friend of mine introduced me into As it. A, what, what village are you talking about? Chapiasi uh? number two. Chapiasi number two. Yeah, that's, that's where you and your grandmother were eating. Correct. Uh, uh, mushroom first. But your grandmother still lives there, I believe. No, no, no. Now he's in Amasama and oh, your mother. Okay, your, your, your mother is in, your grandmother and mother are all in Amasama now. Yes. And please. they all eat mushrooms. Yeah, they And they are, are healthy. Very your healthy. Your grandmother is over 100 years old. Yeah. That's interesting. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so people, looks like uh, this could be a lifesaver. Uh, mushrooms and juices and, you know, using it for your foods and all of that. Yeah. Looks like um, people, can, people can live long with, with, with eating mushrooms. Let That's me taste it. this quickly. Okay. So this Does, one do is mushrooms sweet. have a taste? Well, Not they exactly, have a funny yeah. taste, so that is why we usually overshadow them with fruits or ginger. Or if you taste the ginger right now, you just get that peach yeah, of I, the I ginger. Mean, I mean, I definitely, yeah. you know, tasted yes, yes, a ginger yes, yes, yes. Yes. and also some other fruits, a little apple here and there. Yeah. But that's why I asked, do mushrooms have a taste? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Interesting stuff you do. On your, your farm is called Tibet Farms. Tribet. Tribet yeah, Farms. Farms. Okay, yes. Tribeth Farms. Located okay. in Bema Camp. But your farm is just in Bema Camp yes, here. Yes, inside. So Bema you farm in the city. <laughs> yeah, Opsit Services Basic School. Oh Direct yes, Opsit. Yeah. And that's inside the camp itself. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, yeah. why are you a military military boy? No, my my father and then my okay. cousin. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. that's that's very interesting. Yes. This is really great stuff. It's good to see all the food you've made. Thank you. And also the juices. From all from mushrooms, and just yes. to know that it's healthy, mm -hmm. just to know that mushrooms are healthy, guys, is uh, is the real is the real bargaining chip here. But give me a fork. Let me taste this. Okay. Um, what do I go for? Give me this. Uh, okay, the linguine. The linguine here. Yeah. The linguine pasta. Uh, looks very. Uh, Okay, I just have a little taste. Kekele is not here today to accuse me of eating on TV, so let me just... <laughs> See how nice it is. <laughs> That's interesting. That's interesting food. You, yeah. I'm very impressed because you, 
a kind of like a 360 agency. <laughs> you grow the mushrooms, yeah. you make food with them, you yeah. process them into juices. Yeah. It's really, really amazing, amazing stuff that you Thank do. Thank you. What's your message to young people who shy away from farming? Okay, I'll say that um, they should outgrow this notion that it's only poor people who go into farming. In our <laughs> certain, you know, in the village, they punish people you know in our schools with farming and all that now farming is is fetching financially yeah and if if if, if anybody is hearing me right now the best thing to go into in this our uh, time is uh, anything farming it can be uh, coconut farming what what's we have just farm because the kind of uh, populations we are having now compared to those who are producing are just a few mm -hmm. and so now we, you see rubber rice and things coming in so the time is coming hunger is just going to strike it's unhealthy uh, yeah so mm -hmm. any anybody at all is not immune to this thing we should all go back to the days of We're a champion where yeah you, at least you have a garden where you can eat your own organic foods. And to our young, uh, the youth, we shouldn't create an unemployment association. I believe in starting small. <laughs> Somebody's waiting for capital to start a business. But uh, that's speaking, interesting. When, once you catch any revelation, run with it. That's your capital. Absolutely. Yes, because I started with 100 cities. Okay. And it's now a registered company. And it's, the returns may not be as boom as I want, but I believe it's not bad. Yeah, it's a process. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. look like you look like you can live beyond a hundred as well. So yes, yeah. surely. <laughs>